Okay, hi everyone and welcome again. Uh, this is the tutorial for saving your photos for online submissions uh, into the e-learning portal. So if you watched the video before you learned how to save your photos for turning them on turning them into me in class for your in-class submissions, but this tutorial will be for how to submit them online. So I have my TIFFs that I've already created from the last tutorial. I'm just going to open, uh, I'll just open uh, one up and show you quickly how to save it for the web and then put it online. So I'm going to sel first select image and we're going to change the image size to a smaller image size. I'm going to select uh, 72 as the resolution and 1200 pixels as the longest length. This is a vertical image. So I'm putting uh, 1,200 pixels in the height because that's the longest length. If it was a, a horizontal, I'd put 1,200 pixels for the width. All right, so I have that set. It's 1,200. Uh, it's longest length. It's at 72 for the resolution. I'm going to click OK. I'll see my image getting smaller. And then I'm just going to File, uh, Save for Web. Here I'm in the Save for Web box. I can just uh, make this a little bigger. I'm in the Save for Web box, and you can see over here there is uh, different types of file types. We're going to be using the JPEG. I'm going to keep my quality. Uh, you can change the quality of the image uh, to lower the file size it takes up, but I'm just going to leave it at 100. And uh, leave everything else uh, default, uh, optimized is clicked, or convert to sRGB is clicked on, and then yeah, that's all you pretty much have to do. Press save. It'll open it up, and then you can choose the folder you want to, to place it in. I'm going to select that folder that I created in the last tutorial. I'm going to create a new folder. Um, name it student name. Oh, sorry, sorry, student name. And then the assignment name, which is uh, food photography. And put maybe f underscore web. Create it. And make sure you save the file names as your student name. Student name, underscore, and the assignment name and the number, JPEG. Press save. You can close this, and I wouldn't save your, your TIFFs. You don't want to change the size of the TIFFs. And then you can hide Photoshop. You can go now to your e-learning portal. Um, let's say this is for your class in advanced photography. You can go to uh, module one. And you can go to the uh, assignment one. And then you can click uh, add submission. And you can upload your file or drag it right there. I'll just I'll just drag it. Alrighty. I have my uh, I have my photo here and I can just drag it into that box and it uploads it. And that is pretty much it for submitting your files. And then you press save changes. And you can see there that it's the file submission. You can see it has the student name, the assignment name, and the number, .jpg, and I can add comments if I wanted to, um, like, hey teacher, this is late, or something like this. And then you can see whether or not it has been graded. This one says not graded because the teacher hasn't graded it yet. And then once you finish all that, you can edit the submission if you'd like. You can go back and select another photo if you want or select a, more photos to put in there. And once you have your submission complete, it has all the photos for your assignment, you can select this button that says Submit Assignment. And then it says, are you sure you want to submit your work for grading? You will not be able to make any more changes after you press this button. So be 100% sure that your assignment is correct before you press this button.
once you press this button, you will not be able to make any more changes. Um, since I'm not a student, I'm not going to submit it, but if I was, and my submission was perfect, I would press continue, and then that would be it. And then I can see, as the teacher, I can see your submission, I can give you a grade, I can give you comments, and all that sort of stuff, and you can check all that. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please stop by the Ask the Teacher forum and ask your questions there. Uh, if you want to know how to turn your photos in and size them for in-class submissions, you can go to the previous tutorial, which shows you how to size them for in-class submissions. All right, I hope this was uh, helpful again, and um, I'll see you online. Bye.